up Benjamin 578 here welcome back to whole court legacy and it looks like we are finally going to be doing some flying shit which is very much needed because uh yeah we've been walking around uh you know doing a bunch of cardio so i'm absolutely happy to finally get into this thing too so plus i, I got like the special edition too so it should be coming out with a hello Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kagawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. And to remind this you that there is no quidditch in this game. Some have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Hey. Not a fan, I take it? Now, let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up, firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up! Thank you. Now, your turn. Up, up. Please don't tell me I gotta thank my broom. That is something I never thought I'd say. Thank my broom. <laughs> leg my balls is about to thank his own broom. Yeah, there you go. That's the one leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. It's gotta be hard and to balance if you on, hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. And it's gotta hurt the ass, right? Because, I mean, that I mean that, that broom is going between them two, so that's for sure. Alright, first of all, I gotta take off this scarf. Trust me, I wasn't, I, I'm not sneaking around Gryffindor or anything like that. Alright, my Slytherin brothers <laughs> and sisters. Uh, no, nah, I was just destroying some of my gear because I was, I found a chest and I said, oh, there's too much. We. <laughs> oh yeah yeah this is gonna make all the strippers jealous now look at this but you can't do this on the stripper pole can you yep i'm gonna turn like my balls into a stripper all right man I t god damn it yo i said i was gonna try to not do sex jokes and i've already like i didn't even pass three minutes well, this will so. take some getting used to yeah yeah you said it uh, balls uh, i think i'm getting the hang of this Oh, this looks so weird. <laughs> well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? All right. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. You know, I really do want to crash. See what what a view! <laughs> Absolutely not. Hello. Nice day for a flight. You what, mate? Oi, oi. Wait, we can go in the water. Huh, that wasn't too bad. No, we can't. We can't even crash into the water. What the fuck is the point of this then? All right, whatever. This is kind of sweet, though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as a first year. You know, it seriously has been a long time coming. I cannot believe it took this long just to get to the flying class. But nonetheless, I'm well, glad that we finally our got aquatic there. aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Yeah, I'd wish you'd freaking show himself when I'm smacking the window. Eh, this isn't too bad. On the battlefield, uh, you know, chopper training it definitely paid off. <laughs> This is rather fun. My god, you know what? I really hope the next Battlefield game is actually good. <laughs> I really want the next Battlefield game to be good because goddamn do I need another Battlefield game. A good Battlefield game, you know. I mean, 2042 is alright right now, but it, 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 doesn't, it doesn't top Battlefield 4. I 
say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? What are you talking about? I like it. Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Alright, so this kid is a Ravenclaw, which is smart. So if we get caught, this guy does not deserve to be a Ravenclaw. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Let's hope the Headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. Whoa, they're drinking tea. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Ooh. Ahead of the gardens. This is pretty freaking sweet. What up, out. nerds? I'm gonna crash with this kid. Oh, bitch. Lucky this ain't GTA Hogwarts edition. Here's something handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. Now that's Hell yeah. You sure you're not part hippogriff? What? Who? Hippogriff. There's the famous bridge. Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it. Yeah, no, it's all creepy and rickety. That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and a jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tall Everett. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Let's hurry back. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie, this is actually kind of dope, so... No, hey, this is this is kind of worth the build up. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Dismount here. What up, beaches? Yeah, yeah, bro. Get to get to taste my broom room. I mean, Kagawa, what whatever her name was. And where have you two been? Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, <laughs> I'm disappointed <laughs> That's in you. my face, though. You're in this class because you're, I... still, because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. Men, you always got to respect your own broom, okay? You can only have As one. You, there are many like it, but that one is well yours. You use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Uh, I had another sex joke Sorry coming up. About talking about Kigawa. polishing brooms, but, but to admit, I'm gonna say it. These were worth it. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwich is in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. And that is the first thing we are going to be doing. We are definitely going to be getting a broom. So we can uh, definitely travel around a lot faster. Alright. I don't even see like a new mission coming up. So we're just going to go ahead and go straight to uh, Hogsmeade. Actually, can we actually fast travel there? Yes, we can. Um, Alright, where's the broom store? Is it, is this it right here? Important good shop that sells a variety of brooms. Let's do it. How oh, nice to see you, my lord. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. 
Alright. Uh, okay, so where is this uh, thing? No, I don't care about quests right now. I want to know where this uh, broom broom store is. Oh, we usually shut the fuck up, lady. Where's the map? Um. All right, Sassy, we're right here. She sounded like she liked that. Away from prying eyes and distractions. Hello. Mr. Weeks, is it? Alby Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. Had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. <laughs> and I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare U weavers available. Ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. Man, I just need something that can just give me, just get me here and there, you know? Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take wind wisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the you ones darker reputation. Then you add the ember dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. What are we looking for today? Alright, so you mentioned that one of them was kind of dark. I mean, I like evil shit, so like, like, you know, I'm that emo kid that sits in the corner of the classroom drawing skulls and, you know, sh and probably, like, anime girls and stuff like that, so. <laughs> um, I mean, yeah, there's really not a lot. Oh, we can preview the broom, though. That item though, is so. the highest quality. That looks alright. I mean, it does have slithering colors. I do like that one. Eh. Yeah, I like how that one actually has a pad for your ass on that one. Uh, that item one? is of the highest quality. Eh, I think we'll go with this one. Like I said, it has slithered colors, so. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I gotta represent. You. Gotta represent the snakes, you know. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements. Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you. I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Reyes, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time <coughs> and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? I think that's an easy task, my boy. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while, if I'm right. The new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Reyes will sort you out. Once you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Alright. Uh, ooh, I think you got a little chest. What do you got in here? Oh. I can't help but admire Wait, what are you doing with Jesus. Hey, oh, hold up. Why is there a school robe in your chest, my guy? That that's a little sus right there, you know? Oh man. This place is full of creeps. Um Alright, so I actually want to see if we can try to get some more like get some better stuff here. Um Cause like we've been running into those higher enemies and they've been kind of giving us Better run for our money. So let's see if we can get anything about damage. So I don't actually know if we can get better ones in here. You're not gonna talk to me. Hello? 
Rude ass motherfucker. I, I can never own a shop and then not greet like somebody in there. I don't care how bad my day is, you know? Sorry, I don't know about y'all, but like like when I'm at work, man, it, it just it just feels so weird and uncomfortable not greeting people, you know? Like I don't know how some people would, you know, manage to walk by others and not like pretend that they're there or not just pretend that they're not there it's 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 just it's just weird to me you know so but whatever so i mean customers do it too so you know fuck them too come in look around and if you've been eating chocolate frogs please refrain from touching chocolate frogs well i don't know where you get chocolate frogs from i mean i can take a wild guess and where but trust me my boy i ain't eating shit that are you know chocolatey um okay let's see okay man you got some pretty sick ass gear you even got a he got a green scarf i'd say that looks as if it was made for you Eh, not really i don't think ligma is really meant for scarves so he is he is meant for pimp hats though that's for sure i'd say that looks as if it was made for you i know you're just trying to sell me shit so that looks fucking dope though I'm not gonna lie, that looks kind of dope. I do like the robe better though. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Um. Oh, well, that looks pretty cool. I actually like that one. Can we actually get that? Oh, we can. Interesting. Interesting. I'd say that looks as if it was made for you. Oh, that's pretty good too. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and get this thing. You won't be disappointed. That's a glad rags promise. Yeah, yeah. Trust me, I know what you guys do. I know how selling shit works and all that stuff. Don't be acting like I'm stupid, my boy. All right, so we got a better defense, and then here's where we can upgrade. You're upgrading your burn at spent winches, splitting knees, and hogs meat, right? All right. Um, well, I didn't really get too much of, uh, what I was hoping for. No, I was kind of hoping I can get some, like, better, like, wand shit, but... Good impact. A beast supplies st store is stocked the latest and greatest beast, but... I don't understand, like, so are we going to be able to, like, have our own, like, beast or whatever, like, pet? I, I don't know. Um, okay, so we got some, uh potion stuff like that too that we can get and i think we're gonna need some i don't yeah we only got two so let's go ahead and get some more potions so this is a day out shopping in hogsmeade you know you know you know so that's so not all bad kitty yes yes kitty cat someday you will be mine i kind of wish you can actually get a pet that would have been, been pretty cool so i just realized that there's a no griffin symbol right next to the map on the left oh, there. In the market for potions, are we? Boy. What can I do for you today? I just need some health potions, my guy. Um, there we go. One. A wise decision. Two, thank and you. And three. Thank you, thank you. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. Alrighty. Well, that's that. Um, okay, so now we can actually, uh, go to the, uh, Quidditch arena. Talk to this Amel Amelda, her name is, I think. And, uh, let's talk about beating her time. Wait, what's this? Okay, so that's the Dark Arts place. This is the room requirement. Well, I want to go to this flight test over here. So, all right. Actually, I want to see how to actually use our brooms and, like, you know, fly over there. I want to test this thing out, too, actually. I want to see if, um, we can actually, um, beat this person's timer. Now, I'm, I have a feeling that I'm actually going to need some upgrades and stuff like that in order to beat this chick's time. But, you know, we'll, we'll give it a try and see what we can do. So, I also need to kind of get used to the um used to the flying thing too so Revelio. hogsmeade the only all visiting village in britain hogsmeade has been a favorite haunt of hogwarts student third years and up for centuries all right all right now how do i fly actually shazam 
Fly! Go, Web, go! No. Okay. Um. Shoot. Inventory, I guess? No. Alright, let's see. Gear. Broom enchantment. It's not the upgrade. Okay, so. Okay, so this is the broom I have. Cool. How do I actually set it to flight, though? Rebellion. I have no clue. I think I'm gonna have to look this up. So, let's see. Hogwarts Legacy How to Summon Broom. Uh, tab, three other key. Wait, what? That doesn't really help. Oh, wait a minute. What was that? Ah, there we go. Figured it out. Yeah, yeah. Alright. Right. I actually kind of want to see how far we can go up. So, I mean, considering that we can't really crash into anything, I'm not, I'm not really expecting to, like, die. Actually, that's as high as we can go. I think we're opening both, so. Ooh. I want to go through the uh, tower here. Maybe we can knock somebody off. There's nobody up here. Oh, lame. All right. So here's where the Quidditch unit. and I just gotta find this chick. So she might actually be inside the arena. Oh, I think that's them. Okay. Hello, Imelda. Albie Week sent me. <laughs> Did he now? Still tinkering with his broom upgrade, no doubt. I tried to help him once. He nitpicked my flying technique, and that was the end of that. The nerve. Why is he roping you into his broom testing silliness? You've barely started flying from what I know. Caught wind of you showing off in flying class with Clopton. <laughs> you sound jealous. Seems someone's jealous of my skills on a broom. Me? Slytherin Quidditch captain. Jealous of you? Everyone knows that class is only for beginners, troublemakers, and bumbling baboons. But for some reason, now people think you're competition. Ugh, I can't be having that. Perhaps I am competition. You can't be what passes for Slytherin these days. Pfft, ragged old hats dropping at standards. Enough of this. Only one way to find out who's the better flyer. I hold one of the fastest times on this course. Let's see if you can beat it. Slytherin versus Slytherin. I, I, bro. Can you tell me more about these courses? St <clears throat> stalling, fifth year. No, I'm just asking a genuine question. I'll Come on. You. Yo. This course demands focus. Requires you to anticipate speed and height before every turn. The others test stamina. Three courses in all. Built ages ago by former students. Since Black cancelled Quidditch, it was these courses or nothing. I made them popular again. Got the whole school hungry to compete. So, let's see what you've got, fifth year. Actually, why not? I can beat your record. I'm so looking forward to seeing you lose. Oh my god, I really wish I got some upgrades now, because now this bitch is asking for it. Alright, uh, whatever. We got this. Uh, the hell are these bubbles? These little park bubbles? The, it's the dirty bubble! Ah, they give you like speed boost and stuff. Alright. Come on, Melda, I'm still waiting for you to impress me here. This reminds me of that Superman 64 game. Like, I never played it, but I saw the angry video game nerd play it, like, years ago. Made it. Brilliant. Oh, Brill. Shit. Like, the controls are, like, inverted, like, for going up and down, so that's why I kind of compared it to the, uh, helicopters in Battlefield. Gotta remember what I'm doing. 
Oh wait, not inverted. Oh, that's probably what's messing me up then. Ooh, my brain. This is rather fun. Well, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, I just gotta get my brain trained on not, uh, not pretending that the controls are inverted. Ooh, almost missed that one. Oh man, that's it, Meld up. And you had the record, and you're a Slytherin, bro. That that's sad. That is sad. Now move out of the way. Uh. Uh, that's not. You, you must have cheated. You. Ah, uh, fine. You won. Don't think this is over. You can't determine skill from one single trial. Surely my win means something. Eh, you're not terrible, but you're still going to have to prove yourself if you want to earn my respect. Uh, I feel like I st I, you need to start respecting me because um, <clears throat> if you just check the leaderboard, you're not up there anymore, you know? Challenge accepted then. Perhaps you have what it takes after all. We shall see. But don't get your hopes up. The next course near Irondale offers a much tougher challenge. You can try to prepare by racing this course again. Just check in at the podium where the leaderboard is. You can check your time and start the race. We'll see next time if your win here was more than just a fluke. Whilst on an errand for Albie Weeks. That. Turn to the podium to challenge other racers and advance through your way through the ranks. Now, that sounds like something you can do, like, multiplayer-wise, but I know it's not, though. I suspect so. Mr. Weeks will be glad. Alright. How do I get my broom out again? Okay, I don't know how I did it, but fuck it. Alright. Well, that's that. So, actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and return back to, uh, Hogsmeade and t talk to Mr. RGB Weeks. And tell her how we just smacked this chick a new one. Wow, that's not again. That sounded like a sex joke. All right. Maybe it's just like being at Hogwarts kind of takes me back a little bit to like my high school days. And then high school days, you know, ha ha ha, she said boobies, ha ha ha, funny. That's what. That's why I'm just thinking like so much. We've something to report, I hope. Mr. Weeks, I was able to set a record on my broom. Incredible! Miss Ray's must have been shocked. Tell me, and how jealous. was the broom? A little turbulent, and it's wanting for a bit of speed, but it fared well enough. I will say that it tended to drift a bit to the left on certain turns. Heard a slight swoosh when I dipped. Oh, thank you. Hmm, that's precisely what I needed to know. Drifted, eh? I shall get to work immediately. Even the naysayers will be forced to admit that my works had potential all along. Why would anyone doubt your ability to upgrade brooms? No, oh, you'd be surprised. People get set in their ways. Worry that fiddling with what's working fine will somehow ruin it. <sighs> Those people don't appreciate the sense of freedom that comes with quality broom flight. Nor do they appreciate all that's involved in the creative process. I have a friend in Rome, runs a shop like mine. Says it's worse there. <laughs> of course, they do nap in the afternoons from what I hear. And where would we be without enhancements? I mean, if Elliot Smevik had let the naysayers get to him, we would never have had the cushioning charm. I don't listen to him. I'm excited to hear more. I have a very good feeling about this upgrade. I guarantee you'll be pleased. Expect to hear from me soon. Hmm. How to address the issue so what, of so attitude as it does she not, to speed? I guess she doesn't sell upgrades. We just gotta do missions and then they'll end up doing the upgrading for us. So, yeah, fair enough. Alright, gotta nice just sell some of this shit you. that I don't need. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again. Alright. Well, I guess we'll go ahead and return back to Hogwarts and, uh... And you know what? We're gonna meet Sebastian and try to do some more dark arts defense stuff. That's what I'm all about, though. I'm all about, like, you know, just trying to get more limited power. Stuff like that. I guess this is Voldemort's uh, origin stories right here, so. 
Alright. Yeah, one thing that's kind of crazy that I do not remember, I did not remember in, in Harry Potter. But that was interesting, like, now that all the movies has been, like, you know, said and done. Um, but, like, yeah, I mean, from the first movie, I think in, like, the first hour, I mean, you don't hear the word Voldemort, but, you know, you, they mention him, stuff like that. You know, he's, like, the big bad villain and all that stuff. And, yeah, he just doesn't appear for, like, half the series. It's just, I don't know, it's just kind of crazy to me. It's like, oh, yeah, you know, that guy, Voldemort, he's gonna, you know, he's the big bad dude. He's gonna appear at some point, stuff like that, you know? But, like, just hearing them talk about him, it's just kind of interesting. Uh, you know, before he actually shows up. All right. Uh, oops, we actually need to go around this thing. Right. Over here. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Yeah, that's that, you, my boy. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. This way. There's a secret passage just here. I'm not gonna lie, that's kind of creepy, skies. like when there's like middle of the night, no kids around and stuff like that, and you're just hearing that music going off. It always reminds me of Devil May Cry 1 when you hear that like little orchestra music, like in the uh, in the castle or whatever. So. <laughs> just gonna leave Sebastian out there. How oh, did you find this place? My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Or he's just gonna... He named it the Undercroft. ...enter the room. We used to play gobstones here all the time. With my sister, Anne. She loved that infernal game. What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Revelio! You never confide in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. Oh, fam, I think you should be. You should know. Most daily. That I'm very good at keeping secrets. Caught. And I can guarantee you that this wall has nothing hidden behind it. Absolutely. I know Ominous. Met him in our common room. I've noticed he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. Yeah, the blind no kid. idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is that how he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone That's what else That's makes them slithering. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one, especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Of course. Ominous spoke to me about his family when we first met. To say that he has no love lost for them is an understatement. Glad you understand. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to. Away from prying eyes. And even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. A proper magical education ought to include all magic. My thoughts are Amen. Exactly. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. I can teach it to you safely here. I mean, if you're not going to at least teach kids how to, to use dangerous magic, you should and at least teach them how to defense against magic. I guess that's what defense the against the dark arts is, is actually. <laughs> what it's called. It's well. Alright. Oh, I think we're about to learn our first 
dark magic. Oh, this is gonna be this is exciting. That's why Sebastian's my boy. He gives you all the good shit. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Oh, okay, it's not actually dark. Cause I think dark is uh, these green ones down there. Oh well. Um, let's see damage. Okay, so basically it's just a boom boom. This is probably what I was kind of hoping the Inferno, uh, the Incendio, was going to be. Right. Stick to the targets, though. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I could bring them on. Nice work. Yeah, this How's is pretty much feel? what I was hoping Incendio. It's a tad hot. Incendio. That's it. I think I've got it. Well done. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. Been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. Haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Felcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. Hell yeah! Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? I'm not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Might it have something to do with Victor Rookwood? He didn't mistake you for someone else at all in Hogsmeade, did he? Nothing gets past you. I'll tell you what I can. Rookwood and Ranrock are trying to recover something they think I took from a vault in Gringotts. Gringotts? When were you there? Professor Fig and I wound up there after the dragon attack. There was this port key that... A port key? To Gringotts? Well, it's all a bit convoluted. I'm listening. Eh... Fuck it, let's let him in. He, Sebastian has been pulling his weight, I, I mean, he, he, you know, he took one for the team back at the library. He's teaching us extra magic. Eh, let's let him in. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of the secret Undercroft. You can trust me. Fair All enough. Right. One secret for another. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend as much time here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Sweet. All right. Well, there we go. So now it's like I think it's only like me, Fig, and uh, Sebastian that really knows. You know that Ligma here is so cool that he can see ancient magic. No. Oh, I'm Hello, gonna Sebastian. guess. Wait. Oh no, that's ominous. Okay. You there? I, I was gonna say. You. Oh, uh, hello, ominous. I was just heading to our common room. I've recognized that voice. You're the new fifth year. Did you just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Uh, Sebastian showed me. Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! 
You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, and I'm not afraid to exploit the uh, It's gonna I be that to. guy, huh? You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Okay, well. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Somebody really needs to get laid. All right, that oh, goddamn it! Just didn't know this sex. Okay, whatever. All right, I'm I'm over at this point. So, anyways, I think that's the perfect place to actually end the episode. Um, so, I mean, a lot of good shit happened. You know, we finally got our broom, broom. I mean, my mom's car, broom, broom. Uh, you know, we got to learn some extra magic, and you know, of course, we let Sebastian in on the secret. So. Um, but we still gotta figure out, like, what this all means and all that stuff. And I think that is something that, well, we're just gonna have to take, you know, one bit at a time. So, anyways, like I said, gonna end the episode there. So, thank you guys so much for watching, as always. Die, nerd! <laughs> and I'll see you in the next episode. Hey, lady, I'm gonna add some extra fire to this. Oh, oh yeah. They, yeah, he shouldn't have taught me this. Now I'm, gonna, I'm about to be whipping everybody's ass with this thing. All right, next nerd I see. Die, help him fuck. Okay, I'm done. All right, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Later.